ready for some madness? Yep. Yes. That's good, because today is called Robots Attack. And so all these problems I made using, uh, or I should say made with the help of Elf. And uh, basically just played around with Elf, had Elf sort of, you know, I'd, I'd set up a position occasionally choose a move, but basically Elf play itself out until a certain point where I thought the position was interesting and would involve something regarding an attack on a weak group. And uh, basically just had Elf do maybe 100,000 plus move analysis on each of these positions and tell me what it thinks. Did you say Elf or Leela is stronger right now? So it depends on how you count it. Oh. If you're counting by like raw time, uh -huh. like if you're if like second per second, Elf seems to have the advantage. If you're going by number of variations, Leela zero it has the advantage. And so it depends on what you're favoring. Is it number of playouts or is it number of seconds you spend? And I think, I think eventually, like there's some amount of time where Lila Zero, even even in terms of time efficiency, does catch up and surpass Elf. But it's way far. Like like it's not practical. If you're if you're just running Elf and or Lila and doing like five ten second moves of analysis on a we'll say moderately fast GPU, uh, Elf will come up a winner, like two thirds of the time. So. All right, that's my own analysis. But these things change like every week, right? Everyone has a new build. This was the strongest ever. And I, I'm fine. Go, go have that fight. Uh, anyway, these are generated using Elf. So if anyone wants to go and run them on Leela Zero and uh, run them for 100,000 variations each on Leela Zero and see what she says, please post the results in the comments of this video because I am too lazy to do that. All right. So uh, these are all black to play. Tell me about this board position. Oh, it's got a nice setup on the bottom. White has a nice potential on the bottom, yeah. Let's say these two stones seem a bit like a little bit weak. They're kind of surrounded and not really. Hey, established. they seem attackable. Yeah. What a wonderful observation. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Also, it black stones near there on the other side are not. That's strong. They that's have a, weakness. That's right. They're, the other two black stones aren't like they're probably better off than the white stones, but not by a lot. Mm -hmm. And so this, when you are attacking, this is just you know human heuristic. If you're in an area where you're trying to attack your opponent's weakness and you're also weak, you kind of have to favor the side where you are. Um, the, you have to fix your weakness as part of the attack. When you're really strong on both sides, then you just pick the most of your move, right? But otherwise, you pick the side where you are the weakest and gain strength while attacking. Yeah. Push them into your strength. That's right. So in this, I, I chose this problem, or at least this board position, in part because Elf actually kept switching, even, even at quite high move counts, kept switching what, it, what its preferred move was. And it really had, I'll say, three good, uh, three, three particularly good moves that really couldn't choose, maybe a fourth, depending on how you count it. There was a fourth move that actually had, a, had an equally high win percentage, but it just didn't play out as many variations for some reason. And so I'm going to tell you, let's say, let's say if, you, if you find any of those four moves right now, you're a winner. Okay. So all you got to do is just find one of the four moves that I thought was good. That was the fourth move. That Only didn't, the fourth? It, it didn't, wanna, it didn't like yeah, playing it did. that one out very much. Yeah. It did not like that one. <laughs> so what's the difference? So why, why does it like low and not high? Is it more of a... Just for base. Those. Yeah, again, if we're trying to help these stones, yeah. this stone actually doesn't help it that much. Yeah. Um, but this one does, right? This actually creates more eye space. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three more. How about this? The attachment. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, let me double check the thing. I don't, that wasn't <laughs> no, one of the top not four. One of them. It's <laughs> not one of the top 10 candidates that came okay. up with. And again, these, these robots are finicky or, or fickle, right? Sometimes you just put into a robot and the different robots, of course, like, we'll play this first. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, yeah. <laughs> it's, I tried something simple like this, just to try to... Uh, it, it's not in the top four, but I like the idea. It actually is in the top 10. Yay! <laughs> top, in the top 10 candidates, it found that one. That's also in the top 10 candidates, yeah. but not one of the top four. Wow. You're already a winner, though, so... Wow. I like this, but it also drives white to attack, are we? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. But... And, and realistically, in this position, this is this is also one of those top three candidates. This move, can you put the stone there. Really? And this is actually a very human move. Okay. Uh, part part of the reason of not playing this is that this actually leaves a, a two gap here. Okay. And that's kind of a weakness that white can exploit. 
Okay. Believe it or not, there's actually less, even though the stone is further away, this is less of a weakness because there's more of a bubble uh, that white has to push through in order to take advantage of that weakness. This is actually better shape in this position. Okay, how about this? Not a move. Not a move. Okay. Wow. I saw you play, I saw you play one of the other top three candidates earlier. Yes. Really? <laughs> Whole board. <coughs> We're attacking at uh, approximately a 10 space diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I figured Joking that would be. Mm -hmm. We were thinking that it would probably be a shoulder hit. Yeah, that's <laughs> that the good. computer's like. The number one move it resided on, or it, it, it uh, we'll, say, we'll say coalesced on after 100,000 playouts, that was none of those. Hmm. Okay. And this is a move that, oh man, it feels weird to play as a human. Like, it feels like you're just, you're just making shit up as you play Go. This maybe? No. No? Oh, okay. It's this one. <laughs> was, was so that kind of leans on the white stones and kind of creates... Yeah, it's, it's, it's both helping the shape and attacking, and at the same time, it's completely out in the... It's a, it's a space cadet kind of move, right? It's not like... Um, you know, this is the kind of move that robots actually don't play that often, or at least, at least often these severe, the, these robots usually play very severe attachments, don't leave a lot of space. Oh man, but this move is just floating. It feels like it's trying to min-max it. Uh, well, that's kind of what Go is, Kyle. I know, but still. Um, but it's, it's doing a lot, um, but at the same time doing nothing. <laughs> it certainly so, feels aggressive. It feels aggressive? It feels yeah, optimistic yeah. to me. <laughs> Well, it's, not, well it's, it's trying to help this defect. It's trying to attack these two stones. And also like, it's also yeah. Yeah, it's threatening to start coming over here, and I don't have any black stones over here, right? Maybe capping here is the next move, and, and you know, really developing something big over here, as well as providing a foothold here and here for these invasions, right? It's, it's, it's really trying to do a lot of different things. Yeah. And it's not doing any of them particularly well. <laughs> and so it's the kind of move where often, if I have a Go student, and they play a move like this, I have to yell at them. I'm like, look. <laughs> that's like, you're trying to do too many things. Like, you're, you want your stones to do more than one thing, but you want your stone to do like do two or three well. things well. And this move just doesn't do anything particularly well, right? It leaves plenty of defects over here. Even if we cap like this, white can just cut through. This is way too big of a gap to hold on to. Um, this is really too far away to provide a very adequate foothold for invading. So, I don't know. I give up. Let me go play chess now or something. <laughs> I'll play some chess. Today. Play some chess. Maybe it's like a type of probe. What do you want to try to do, White? It's like, I'm going to invest a little bit in everything. Whatever you do, I'll yeah. just be there. So, anyway, in conclusion on this board, I think if you play this move, great, you're amazing. I think if you play this move, Great, you're amazing. I think if you play this move, great, you're amazing. I think if you play this move, great, you're amazing. Like all those are very within, within a time fraction time? of a percentage point. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, man. I was joking about tension. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. Well, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. Tengen always wrong. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just do that when there's like nothing. No, else always wrong. <laughs> always wrong. <laughs> always wrong. Never right. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. That's that's one of the rules of this class. <laughs> All right, so is that kind of interesting? It's mm -hmm. interesting yeah. that like this large yeah. giant move is kind of weird. All right, let's go to board two. And uh, you know, each of these boards I did sort of pick for a reason. Um, we're gonna hit a, the next, this board and the next two are really, they're really, the robot move I don't think is that different than a human move. Like I don't, I don't think there's anything too spectacular, um, but it's still, it's still, this board in particular, like the most human move that you guys found was not even the top 10 yeah. robot list. And so what moves were you guys considering here? Every single person. Well, I think play. we all wanted yeah, we that. Yeah, we all wanted that. Yeah. I feel better about myself. <laughs> we all want that, right? That's the human move. Yep. That looks great. Feels a little bit defensive. I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of points. It's, well, okay. It makes so, points at a time. You attack yeah. and you, you make points. Okay, so it's a time to run them that way and make right. more points there. Yeah, it, it, man, doesn't that just make sense? <laughs> this is not in the top ten of elf. Like, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. it just now the elf move is still a human move, right? But the most human move isn't even considered. And I don't I don't explicitly know why. I didn't I didn't look into it too far. I suspect that even if you play this. 
there's actually a problem here for black with shape. And I haven't really found it, right? But there, white has this clamp. Oops, oh, I'm destroying the board. And it moves like this and this. And with these attachments, I kind of suspect that white has some Aji to exploit. So this move doesn't actually turn this directly into points. It doesn't quite, like, like we want our moves to do two or three things well, and it only keeps pressure on white. It doesn't actually keep yeah. enough pressure. Um, now that being said, even if, if white gets desperate, white can also lean on this and force us to make points, but then maybe white gets out. Like white, white has a choice. I don't know. If once I show you the, the, the move that the robot wants to play, I think we'll see some other disadvantages to playing this move. Okay. So let's, let's keep going. Well, we have this idea. That's a good idea. Let me see if that point is... In the top Hello? Top. Hi. When'd you get here? Oh, <laughs> about 10 minutes late. Okay, I didn't see you, sorry. Uh, all right, let's look at it now, it's a surprise. All right, so that moves on the top 10, but we're, wow. we're not that far off. Like, that's not, that's not a bad, let's say I considered three or four moves within that neighborhood. I mean, I'm weaker than everyone here, but why, that's fine. why wouldn't you go there? There is a top 10 move, yeah. And, uh, is, is that anything either? Or is that, that, that is the robot's favorite move. Yeah. Really? Oh, and pretty pretty yeah, definitively, in fact. <laughs> wow. I actually um, got it. <laughs> you did get it. Which was funny because it's like the move that I'm like, it's the one I'm thinking to try to refute the one that we all agreed on, but I'm like, I don't think it's good enough. <laughs> Is it prep yeah. that cut at all? Or? Uh, it, it doesn't prep that cut directly. Um, but what it does do is it really spoils white shape. Mm -hmm. Like white, white really just has to keep running. And when white runs, maybe instead of playing an ambitious shape move like this, uh, we can actually continue to build. And if white has to keep running, well, maybe then we can peep and fix and get this over here more solid than we would otherwise if we just played one move out there. Uh, if something like this happened. I don't know, I think there's, there's other things white can do here, right? White can try attaching and diagonals and pressing, all sorts of things. Um, but it's really, this is just a shape point. It's we're just preventing white from making any sort of shape here on the outside. And uh, you know, if white really wants to, right, there is some play for an eye down here. But one eye does not live. And uh, in the meantime, white doesn't really have a good place to connect to other than this stone. And that stone is already somewhat neutralized by this black fourth line stone. Uh, <clears throat> the other nice thing about this is that on this board, where is black's weakest group or groups? Those. Yeah, it's actually those two and possibly those four. And so, again, that rule of attacking, if you are weaker on one side, that's the side you actually want to attack from. You want to fix your weakness. And so this actually helps this space over here because this space is too big uh, to easily defend. And so this is a strangling shape move. Um, another thing, if we go back here, um, if white starts coming out here like this, yeah. yeah, you actually don't feel great about it, yeah. especially if this Aji still still, you know, can lead white to to either reduce or even live down there. Because um, yeah, you can back off. You can be like, okay, I'm just going to take my points, and that's still a good result for black. Like this is still okay. Um, I, I would this is probably a fifty fifty game, um, but white is not nearly as uncomfortable. Yeah, especially especially if those aren't all yeah uh, secure, then yeah. Yeah. that moves kind of doing nothing efficiently. Then it's not making points. It's not. Yeah, if it, well, I mean, it, it makes points if we get another move, right? Yeah. <laughs> if Black can play one more move, maybe even something like this, that that's probably enough to secure it. But uh, we do have to play two moves instead of just getting to play them naturally in tempo. So it's just about strangling strangling the shape of this group and forcing it to 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 run. Uh, more limitedly, li limitedly. Okay. I like making words. So that's the what I came up with. Let me see what other any other candidates. Again, this was un unlike the last one where there were three moves all within a fraction of a percent. This one was the far and away winner. Uh, the second, the second place move, second favorite move was this reduction. <laughs> so very similar, just not as severe with regard to the attack or the shape. And if there was a third choice. It was actually this. 
<laughs> so it really likes that area. Yeah, and again, but but this is consistent, right? If there's a if there's a side you have a weakness on, again, this group can't really die. This group can't really die. Yeah, you might not get these points, but everything is safe and from a from a group life perspective. These are not as safe. So build from that side or attack from that side. And it begins getting huge. Yeah. If you if you can you know play one or two more moves, yeah, now we're now we're we're not just taking these, you know, 12 to 15 points. We're, you know, taking 30 to 40 points. All right, feeling good? Yep. And this one. All right, what did you guys come up with on this board position? So Black's groups on the left, except for the one that's dead, seem like they have a fair amount of apology that white might be able to exploit. Okay, so, so you mean like through here or yeah. through with these two stones? Yep. And then white has a weak group on the right corner. Yeah. This yeah. one. Yeah. So first question, I guess, is how safe are we over here as Black? I think we're actually safe enough. Why do you think that? Because black can go here and sente. Good, we got a sente move there. Um, we didn't think white could go here. White would have to like run yeah. these out, and, and they we were still really up. weak. And we can just connect up underneath. Mm -hmm. If if, um, if there is an emergency, yeah. and then if white wants to do that, suddenly white's going to have a weak group right there. Yeah, so yeah. White, very, white needs a bit more strength. Yeah, running running these two stones out is really difficult. Yeah, yeah. like really really difficult. If we hunt, I think black can just cut and. Not like it's such a good fight for black. Mm -hmm. We have five liberties of this black group. We're either going to kill these two or capture this one before those liberties run out. Uh, and if white tries anything like this, well, <laughs> there's this shape spoiling moves here. If we try this, black can just play here and again spoil shape and connect. And yeah, there's not, it's, it's not very promising for white to run this out. So. So then we decided that we wanted to pincer this stone, which would maybe help us attack that and also respond to okay. this approach. So then I decided that I like oh, that. Oh, that one. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a, that's not, uh, not one of them. Not, not one of them. <laughs> Is one of the pincers in there? Depends what you define as a pincer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Really, really it's far away pincers. Really I'll say, I'll say the, the move, the, the, its favorite move was a, was a far, far and away winner. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, not far, far and away, but you know, four to five percentage points higher than the other move. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that one something? That's the move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just go in there after it severely. And for me, I know, I know, uh, this, this would actually be a move that I would, I would hesitate to play because I'd be looking for a better relationship to this stone. Mm -hmm. uh, but the robots, he doesn't, they're not, they don't care. <laughs> They're just like, look, if white wants to run out and break through here. Yeah, because I guess if you extend here, then, then now you're putting pressure yeah, on that. Yeah, you, so well. you, you, can, you can actually let this run out and then attack two things <laughs> as it comes out. Um, whereas I'd be very inclined to look at moves like this. That was, is, is this, I was, that, that, that might be a bit passive though, I guess. That feels very small. White like could just give yeah, up. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, yeah. Give up, play something here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you really do need to play a severe move to make white feel like, uh, well, feel the best suffering. Yeah. yeah, we want white to suffer. <laughs> um, my move, the move I would play is its third favorite, the one I pointed out, like, well, that's the one. So, this is its third favorite move. Um, its second favorite is here. Oh, they're all kind of the same idea, right? This is the weak group, this is what we have to attack, it's just a matter of spacing. And uh, in this case, has no fear for squeezing severely. Um, if white wants to break out and counterattack us, no problem. We live here. We end up pincering that in the process. Mm -hmm. So this is this is one of the boards where <coughs> it maybe is a little bit easier um, of, a, of a position. You know, maybe it's not obvious, but this is, this is a move you guys actually probably all have a chance playing in your own game. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a misclick, <laughs> there's a chance. It's the best misclick. Yeah. Any other thoughts on this one? Uh, a lot of the other candidate moves Black was looking at was looking at moves all around here to basically quash all this Aji. Um, so it's, it's spent a lot of time thinking about you know all these sorts of things that would help with these two stones and help with this push and cut. 
but again, far and away, it was just like, no, nah, no, nah, just kill that. You can manage each of those. Let's go after that. Attack. Mm -hmm. All right, three more. All right. Thank you. All right, this is, I'll say, another humanish problem. Very human kind of position. Tell me what's going on on the board. And white's safe over there, alive over there. Yep, white is super With safe over there. Oddly black has thickness, but there's some yeah. defects. Uh -huh. and These black stones are not that safe because white yeah. can run those stones out, and then they might be in trouble. They only have yeah. four liberties, and so white, we have to keep that in mind. And white has all the corners, or sorry, black has all the corners. Yeah, black and black actually yeah. has already, you know, a fair bit of territory. Um, and white really only has, as far as solid territory, that's really the only bit that white has. White has a wall here, uh -huh. which we were thinking that we wanted to destroy in some way. Okay. And also white has potential here, so we were thinking that we wanted to play this. Ah, why don't we double check, but I think that was, that was black's second favorite move. Really? Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm correct, my memory is good. That's the second favorite move. Cool. So I like this idea. Where we're neutralizing this wall while putting pressure on this. Solid. You play here, good. You're you're you know, just A minus robot go player. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another move that I think even humans would consider, would spend a long time considering. It's not it's not just a robot move. And the key is to think about this thickness and the spacing of white stones. And that would be bold, something around here to try to split this up. I believe that's the third favorite robot. Oh my God. <laughs> what about, it worked last time. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. This way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this is the robot move. Okay. Wow. Look at, you have all this black thickness. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know there's two defects, but even if white runs one out, you should be able to manage with the other one, right? Uh, I was so close. <laughs> uh, and this is overextended. And especially when black has a neighbor nearby. I know it's not really close, but it's close enough to be effective. And with this thickness, we have places to run to. If we just run out, we're fine. Like we have things we can connect up with if we need to. And if white comes under attack here, where is this white stone going to go? Towards us. Yeah, like there's, nothing, there's no friends here. Uh, this this group obviously can like there's friends over here, but if we're splitting, like if if, if everybody just jumps out, and this is uh, not going to happen in a real game, but unless you're double digit Q, that's a double digit Q sequence. How do you feel as white? You gotta figure out how to not let that stick die. Yeah, like you have a problem. You feel like you have a much bigger problem than black. Yeah. And even if white tries some fancier moves like this, black can even dodge and give this up and just say, look, I just, I just want to attack one thing. Like, you can have this. I'm fine with this. Uh, wait. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I have to play that. Yeah, I yeah. have to play that way. But um, is that the best way that does technically work? You know, here, maybe here. I don't know what the, I don't know what the next move is. Um, but the idea is black is having a fine time, right? You can give up the one stone, let white be solid on one side to really severely attack the other. Uh, so, you know, that, that white stone is a little bit overextended. Black has a little bit too many friends still projecting their influence on the center. So you gotta take advantage of it. Uh, other moves that the robot looked at here, it did look at, you know, just trying to seal off the OG, but it really just didn't spend a lot of time. It's just like it's a 50-50 kind of game if you just fix the OG. Um, yeah, everything, all the other moves were actually in this area. Like, you have to do something in this area. You have too many friends in the middle of the board to not do something, uh, you know, crazy. Not driving that way. Yeah. I guess I should be. I guess I should be like showing these on camera, right? Like you guys can actually <laughs> just do that. So let's see. All right. I did later. I did later. Too much work. I know. I actually I saved all these board positions as a PDF. 
<laughs> I've never done that before. Oh, nice. Yeah. It is bringing SGF files, which are kind of a pain to work with. For teaching purposes, at least. All right, this one. What's going on on this board? The bottom looks really interesting. Bottom looks really interesting. Why does it look so interesting? Because these stones of ours and this one are weak, so we both have weak stones there, so. Hey, that should be a clue. <laughs> There's a bit of probably a bit of Aji in the white group as well. There's a little bit of Aji in there, yep. Uh, but if you have a part of the board where everybody's weak, that's a really important part of the board. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what do we do about it? I feel like somehow help there. I don't know if that's the right direction. Maybe threaten to. Uh -huh. Bring out that stone and then come back and attack that. Okay. So, so I don't know. So, yeah. I'll see what the robot thinks of your move. <laughs> <laughs> robot says your move is pretty good. Oh, not that. It's not. It's not. It's only a fifty-one percent move. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not quite as good as the yeah. as the better move, but you didn't lose the game with that move. That's good. All right. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, I like this. Robot says that's a fifty-two percent move. Uh, Ooh. Even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you, yeah, you're looking, you're looking at making this yeah. week, and yeah. you know, turning for that, preparing for that invasion. Yeah. But what about these stones in the meantime? Um, well, I was hoping that the pressure put on these would help me with them in some way. Okay, that's nice and optimistic of you. <laughs> <laughs> they could do like a jump from three points and try. Well, white might. Add, I, I I don't know if white would even try to save them. Yeah. White would probably Tanuki here to actually play down here first. Mm. So, another, you know, good move, like good idea. Not the robots here. Right? There you go, we must apply what we've learned today. If you're attacking something that's weak, and on one side you're strong, and on one side you're weak, what do you have to do? The weak side. You have to attack from the weak side. What about? Like, we're only learning one heuristic today, guys. Like, this <laughs> should be one of the, the easier classes. The easiest heuristic. The shoulder hit? The shoulder hit, yes! Yeah. That's the robot's favorite move. Uh, really? That's no, it. That's really simple. <laughs> I never <don't think> <laughs> thought that one. But, you know, yes, you would like to use this Aji, right? Mm -hmm. You would like to run this out. Maybe you would like to get a couple free moves here and then invade. There's a lot of things you would like to do over here. However, weak, weak, not important yet. This is future planning. So let's get strong first while we're attacking, and then we can have fun later. And so this is the favorite move. And your shape looks kind of dumb. Like this is not a good shape you should try to make. Yeah, I don't like that move. <laughs> but. I learned to love it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if I took away, let's say I took away this stone. Does that look better to your eye? A little bit. It wasn't tested. Sort of. I mean, like, 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 to me, to me, this is a more natural. Like, I'd expect to see this shape more naturally. Like, this is like this. This stone doesn't seem to re like. Eh, it's not really making you eye space. It's medium useful. Uh, so this this stone might be throwing off your your eye for for come and go shapes. Um, if this wasn't here, uh, do you have any other moves you would try to play? Like if, if you try to do this, right, white's going to get out faster. Yeah, maybe even just the jump. If you just if you just jump out, you're feeling like you're running next to white's strength, and when white runs out, white uh, feels a lot more open. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run that. Right, you out. you feel like you're the one who's being choked. I yeah. would want to play something else. You kind of want to get away from this wall a little bit. You want to put some space away from you. Mm -hmm. so that's why we look at these kinds of moves. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if we do something really aggressive, you know, here, here, yeah. <laughs> well, Weiss is going to take that. Yeah. Uh. So we need, to, we need to attack from the weak side, and this stone just happens to be there. Okay. Interesting. And it might be useful later on, but... Mm -hmm. All right, it's good. Mm -hmm. Did anyone try to attack this stone? Yeah, this was our second choice, was that. You want to throw what the robot thought of that? Sure. 50, exactly 50, 50 percent. We only played out three variations, so I didn't need too much stock. For the people playing at home, there's your, 
fifteen. There's your readout. For if you want, if you want to go, let's spend a hundred. I'll just want one hundred sixty-one thousand variations wow. on this move. Wow. <laughs> Stupid. All right, last board in my favorite board. Oh, yes. I like Let's fix that. This board, oh man. Ah, uh, you guys are not gonna like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on on this board? Uh, it feels like people tanukied from things over and over again. <laughs> Actually, not as much as you might think. No, not as maybe maybe. Several times. Really twice at the most. It only, it only takes two tanukis to get to this position. Okay. Which is not that much. Yeah. It seems like white has a, a lot of points there. White does have a lot and of points Black there. has a lot of potential Everywhere slash else. a little bit of points. Yeah, there's almost, potential. there's like 35, 40 points here, right? These maybe cancel out, maybe. So it's just kind of, black know, can convert that. It's a little small here, but uh, yeah. I don't know. So, it feels you know. like the assignment is around these yeah, you would uh, think that. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Well. That's foreshadowing. Interesting. Uh, and this is this is one of those problems where again the, the AI changes mine after like fifty thousand, sixty thousand wow. variations or something. Hmm. Um, and it's I mean, up, up until that point its first favorite move be then became its second favorite move. Okay. And so here, start start telling me what you guys found for, for points well, and I'll tell you if I really there. wanted to play the 3-3 three, three over there just because I felt that my um, opponent would definitely respond to so, protect their territory. So it looked at it and it decided there's only a 48% chance winning, so not even a winning move is yeah. a losing yeah. move. Okay. It would think that why would ignore it probably, right? Uh, I don't, I presume so. Okay. I presume so. I don't know. I, there's looks, too much crazy, yeah. look at the rest of this board. It looks kind of, I don't know, I almost thought something yeah. Like that. that or was some move in the corner uh, to... It, it didn't find that one, but it looked at this one. Okay. And very, yeah, very briefly, that. actually, it, it, it decided that that was like its like fifth favorite top move, but it, very, it played very few variations. Yeah. It really didn't, it didn't yeah. treat it very seriously, even though it was like fairly high in the winners. Yeah. Just something to try and keep both white stones weak so you... Yeah, and, and take profit. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's a solid 15 points of profit, and white can't get a base. Yeah. So that's pretty reasonable. Um, well, if we had played this out the normal way and had this move, then I would want to poke at this cut. But we don't have this move yet, so right. maybe this move. This is the robot's favorite wow. move. And this is what we switched into after, wow. you know, 50,000 variations. Um, it eventually ended up playing out, and this, I let it run to 82,000, you know, variations on that move alone. Um, its second favorite move that it was, its initial favorite move, was this one. And so it almost... Played out thirty thousand variations just on this move, and this move I rather like. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that feels that it's feels right, right. Just intuitively, <laughs> you have a white stone over here and a white yeah. stone over here, and it feels like you're putting a lot of pressure on both. And uh, you know, you have all these stones over here. This is turning into twenty to thirty points quite readily, um, while white is still feeling the pressure. Uh, the problem with this move is that it feels like white can actually make us over concentrated. And uh, if, if we don't take enough territory in, that, in our over-concentrated areas, white might be able to eke out like that two-point win. Yeah. Um, so especially if white, let's say white's next move is to play something like this. And sure, white might let us have this, but then if white can either get points down here or yeah, you know, just, just become safe, yeah, survive, um, maybe then white can, t you know, white, White is fine, right? White, white can just play the game where he wins by two points in the end. And so, you, so this move puts even less pressure on either of these stones. But it why? This. Yeah, and that's it's. This is this is the weird part, right? Like the quest. This is why this is my favorite problem. Is like, what are we attacking here? Is it this stone, this stone, or is it this group? And this yeah. is sort of like the stealth group that if you play this move, you can now attack it. And if you can attack the big group. You can have a lot of other nice things going for you because now white has three problems on this board. The follow-up to attack this group after this move, if white plays on the move over here, is this one. Mm -hmm. And if white connects, you just have fun. If this white group has to run, uh, let's let's say let's say for instance, um, white was like, "Hey, I want to make this group live over here." You go. That's that's great. 
This group is much stronger, safer now. Maybe we play one exchange, maybe two, I don't know how many. But now we start the attack here. And uh, if this group has to run this way, well that means I'm going to be able to play a move or two over here that's going to attack both. And Man, my opponent is now committed to both of these, right? Look at the stones that got it. committed to the group there, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, was, what, what was the winning percentage on, on this game, on so, that move? So this, the, move, the winning percentage for this is 60.7%. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, that's elf 60.7%. It is, it is an right? elf, so it's like a Lilo, you know, 3 or 4% swing. Mm. <laughs> but again, 48 to sit over 60%, you know, between those two corner moves. Mm. Between a 3-3 three, three and a 3-2, you can take the worst, <laughs> the worst point, geographically speaking. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll hold this up for the, for the nice folks at home. Mm -hmm. I don't think the camera's really focusing on it very well, but you can kind of make it out. Um, Elf spent a long time looking at all this Aji and all this Aji, uh, just trying to see, okay, can we do something over here? And it more or less concluded, like, down here, this might be the best way to start. Shenanigans. Yeah, it likes this move quite a bit. Uh, it really didn't play out nearly as many variations. This is only like 1,500 variations out of a, well over 100,000, but... Still a sizable chunk. I, I mean, yeah, it's like one percent, less, a little over one percent. Mm -hmm. um, and it looked at a lot of things over here. Just how do you, ways to attack both these stones. Um, it also really liked this move. This would also be a good move. Mm -hmm. Again, putting pre a different way to put pressure on both at the same time. Uh, so, if I play this in my game, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. This move, I would have a blind spot, I think. Like, this think feels too much chaos, spot. right? There's too much weakness right. to, to ignore this for another move. But. I feel like I had a blind spot on that one, too, so, yeah. Yeah. So, you guys feel like attacking some groups now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yes. all the attacking. I like the analysis you gave of, like, um, Forcing this group to like commit on the like tag at the same time. Yeah. And you know, that that involves a lot of reading to make sure you can <laughs> actually upset both groups well enough to take advantage of it. Um, and in some in some way, you know, this move still holds to our heuristic of the day, right? Which is, you know, if you're attacking uh, a group, make sure you do it from the weaker side. Um, because I think I think that is that still applies here. This is actually kind of you know it, it looks like you have enough stones and you're not going to die. But if White gets a few extra stones here and cramps your base, well, when White cuts here, you really won't have much eye space. Like you're actually this is this can be this is the thing that can be made weak um, during the course of this game. So anyway, was good. Mm -hmm. Learn how to yes. how to attack some robots. Attack like a robot. <laughs> yes. yes. All right.